Hi, my name is Dr. Rachel McCann and I'm a member of the Faculty of Medicine with the Royal College of Physicians in Ireland and I'm currently working in St Vincent's Hospital as an Infectious Disease Registrar. So today I will be speaking a little bit about William Stokes. He's one of the College's most renowned physicians for several different reasons, including publication works, promotion and development of equipment such as the stethoscope and his role in public health and in medical education. So as a medical graduate, fresh out of medical school, William Stokes had his first publicated work, which was the introduction of the stethoscope in 1825. In it, he describes the basic use of the stethoscope and for diseases of the chest, such as emphysema. Um, we have a copy here of this book donated by his family. So the stethoscope was initially developed by a Frenchman, René Lanac, in 1816. And we have a, a copy of William Stokes' original version of this, donated by his family, which was a very simple design, a wooden tube with a um, circular fashion at the end. It was a Wexford man, Arthur Leonard, who actually developed the first bioregular stethoscope, which had two tubes and then a, a circular fashion at the end. Arthur Leonard failed to copyright his design, which led to some dispute between two physicians in America um, who claimed to be its inventor. This, this eventually led to a publication from Arthur Laird in the Lancet where he stakes his claim. Other works published by William Stokes include a treatise on the diagnosis and treatment of diseases of the chest in 1837, in which he describes diseases such as emphysema, and this work really cemented him as a renowned physician in Europe. Other aspects of medical care that William Stokes was involved in was medical education, and he really felt that medical students needed an overall in-depth education from ethics as well as medicine, science and surgery. And this led to the development of the Medical Act in 1858. In 1858, William Stokes published Diseases of the Aorta and the Heart, which gave him worldwide fame for descriptions of early cardiac diseases and really cemented him as one of the founders of modern, modern cardiology. In this book, he describes pericarditis, paroxysmal tachycardia, and a common described term called chain stokes breathing. And we also have this cartoon here um, showing a picture of William Stokes uh, holding his original version of the early form of the stethoscope, um, which is almost too life size from the example that we have here. Another area that William Stokes was passionately involved in was his work in public health. And um, this began once he finished grad when he, when he graduated from Edinburgh as a medical student. He took over his father's role working in the Adelaide and Leith Hospital. Um, and in 1826, there was an outbreak of typhus for which he himself contracted the disease. This kind of recognition of the interlink between poverty and medicine continued throughout his career. This led to the first recognised course in public health called the Diploma in Public Medicine in Trinity College. William Stokes had good insight into the link between public health and medicine and recognised that medicine goes beyond the walls of the hospital. Um, this is ever more pertinent today, uh, so we recognise the challenges that we face in our public healthcare system and our hospital medicine.